welcome welcome back to my channel i know this is far from what i normally do where my channel is concerned but anything towards my daughter's school i always support it because she's a part of the leaders even though she won't be in this part but she's she still represents the school so i still support whether it's my channel or not but in this video I would like you guys to help me choose the head boy and head girl of her school. So, I would like you guys to just listen what they have to say because they are fighting to see which one of them will get the head boy or the head girl. So just enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that post notification guys so you don't miss a video from me, alright? Mr. Earl Smith, Principal Mr. Mark Jackson, Senior Vice Principal Ms. Gail Palmer, Acting Vice Principal Ms. Sinclair Palmer, our very own Guidance Counselor Lady Edwards, Guest Judge Mr. Reed and Ms. Forbes. Teachers and students, a pleasant afternoon to you all. The education sector is facing many challenges including deadly conflict and drug abuse. In times like these, true leadership matters. Leadership is not a position or a title. It is a prestigious role with awesome responsibilities. Leadership is a for purpose, inspiration, and empowerment to ignite change. Progress is impossible without change. Former President Barack Obama said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the candidate you seek for head girl of B. Ascot Primary School. My name is Sonia K. Jackson. I am a very responsible individual with innate leadership abilities. I am accountable, respectful, dedicated, and selfless. I possess strong analytical, problem-solving, and communication skills. Over the years, I have contributed positively to the this, to this school through upholding the rules and, ex and expectations of the school. Consistent, commender, ac commendable academic performance representing the school as a member of the Distinguished Choir and as an active member of the Max and Science Club. My personal philosophy is to treat others as I would want to be treated. As such, I will lead with humility, integrity, and respect for others. Greatness begins here at Ascot Primary School. How many of us have read the books titled If Their Hands Are Reaching the Moon? or watch the movement hidden figures. These are stories about ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I will lobby for a book club so we too can be inspired to be great men and women who will transform our world. Further, with the support of the book club members, I will use my creativity to produce a personal movement. Dreaming of being great is not enough. I am resolved to work hard and never give up in the space of adversity. Yes, the challenges are real. As an institution that takes care of the total man, I will lobby for a greater men mental health support as I believe that together we are stronger. I will also lobby for an etiquette society so that more students can benefit from values, attitude, and social skills training. As your head girl, I will ensure that as a student body, we continue to honor these principles and philosophy of the ASCO Primary School. Discipline, excellence in academics and extracurricular activities and community involvement. I thank you for your nomination for a head girl of this noble institution. I pledge to serve you graciously and with distinction for the academic year 2022-2023. I thank you. <laughs> Chairman, Mr. Earl Smith, Principal, Mr. Mark Jackson, Senior Vice Principal, Ms. Gail Palmer, 
Second acting vice principal, Miss Plummer. Our own guidance counselor, Miss Lady Edwards. Our chief judge, Mr. David Reed. Our special judge, Miss Forbes. Teachers, parents, and fellow schoolmates, my name is Wainisha Hall from class 6A and I'll be running for the office of head girl. I am hardworking, confident, helpful, respectful, and I show no favoritism. My vision for the school is to be the best we can and to do the best we can. My goal is that when I graduate and leave the Ascot Primary School, knowing that I've done something positive to change our school. I will lead in excellence, dignity, courage, and love. I am determined to uphold our school motto, strive for excellence. I, I will help maintain discipline in the school and around me. If I am elected for this position, I know it will be difficult, but I will work respectfully with my teachers, fellow schoolmates, and peers. Respect is earned, not given, so I will respect you, and you will respect me. I will encourage students, embolden students, and most importantly, respect them. A promise is meant to be kept, and I intend to keep my promise. Being head girl is not about the title. It is about the trust and respect from your schoolmates, teachers, principals, and vice principal. We will, we will work together and with each other. By ourselves, we are great, but together, we are unstoppable. Lisa Hayesha once said, Great leaders don't set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. It's never about the role, always about the goal. My philosophy is based on a moral respect and obedience. Being a leader focuses on developing others. Le a leader empowers our others and encourages students, teachers, and others. I believe that I can be that person. Great leaders put themselves above others and before others. A great leader must, I repeat, a great leader must have integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing when no one is watching. I thank you. Chairman, Mr. Earl Smith. Principal, Mr. Mark Jackson. Senior Vice Principal, Ms. Gail Palmer. Acting Second Vice Principal, Ms. Lilith Sinclair Plummer. Guidance Counselor, Lady Edwards. Teacher, Guest Judges, Mr. David Reed and Ms. Forbes. Teachers and the students of the Ascot Primary School. A pleasant afternoon to you all. My name is Dejan McDaniel of Class 6A and I am vying for the position of head girl. A wise man once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. This quote resonates with me dearly. In essence, it only takes one step to achieve a myriad of things. My journey at the Ascot Primary School has not been an easy one, but with determination, dedication, and perseverance, I have managed to reach thus far. I have joined the Ascot family from the age of two, where I enrolled at the Ascot Basic School, and from my very first day until now, I have been excelling academically. Some of my achievements include principal's honor roll, group leader, and valedictorian at my basic school's graduation. So you see, from a tender age, I have been a creme de la creme. I have displayed leadership qualities from basic school through to primary school as I was a monitor, a sub-prefect, a prefect, and now running for head girl. Moreover, I demonstrate other attributes such as being responsible, 
disciplined, and well-mannered. My mother taught me how to be polite, which includes greeting everyone I see with a pleasant morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whether they responded or not, this is something I have to do on a daily basis. I have a zeal to continue to make my mother proud and to shine like the brightest star in the sky. If it was not for the support system around me, I would not have made it this far, and for this, I am grateful. When I become head girl, I will ensure that my fellow schoolmates can use me as a role model, being the true representation of greatness. There are several things that I will ensure are enforced, such as discipline and order among all pupils. I will work along with the leaders of the school to improve our environment in all aspects, and I will also work along with my peers to sustain cleanliness and tidiness. Additionally, I will be the one to encourage my schoolmates to work hard and never give up. Failure does not mean you have lost the race. You have to get up and continue trying. Finally, with all my attributes, I have no doubt that I will be an excellent head girl, setting goals, meeting expectations, and creating impacts. As the motto says, strive for excellence, let us keep this in our minds and hearts whilst on our journey to success. I thank you. Mr. Earl Smith, Principal Mr. Mark Jackson, Senior Vice Principal Ms. Gail Palmer, Second Acting Vice Principal Mrs. Sinclair Clark, our very own guidance counselor Lady Edwards, Judges Mr. David Reed and Ms. Forbes, Teachers, schoolmates, parents, and colleagues. My name is Christina Berry. And I am from class 6A, I will be vying for the position of her group. I must express how delighted I feel to be nominated as a candidate for the position of her group. It would be an honor to serve as said girl for the upcoming term. As said girl, it would give me the opportunity to give back to my school through dedicated time and service. As said girl, I will help to create learning programs and social groups for my fellow schoolmates to develop their academic skills. As said girl, I will work efficiently with a team of prefects to ensure all tasks are completed. I will be the best representation for not only my peers, but for our school. My personal philosophy is, there is no elevator to success. The only way to achieve success is to climb the stairs. What this means is that there are stages to your achievements and there is no shortcut to achieving greatness. It comes through hard work and sacrifice. That is what I am willing and capable of doing. With your help, we will make our school known as we work together to achieve all our goals. So please give me your vote as our first step towards greatness. Remember, my name is Christina. C stands for capable, H stands for honest, R stands for respectful, I stands for intelligent, S stands for sociable, T stands for trustworthy, I stands for impeccable, N stands for neat, and finally, A stands for articulate. I thank you. Chairman, Mr. Ellsworth, Principal, Mr. Mark Jackson, Senior Vice Principal, Ms. Gail Palmer, Second acting vice principal, Ms. Millie Sinclair Plummer. And, one of, and our guidance counselor, Ms. Lady Edmund. Our chief judge, Mr. David Reed. Our second judge, Ms. Ford. Teachers, students, and well wishers, a pleasant afternoon to you all. I know that you have listened to a lot of speeches today, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Now, for those who are not aware, I am the charismatic, hard-working, organized, smart, talented, passionate, critical thinker, problem solver, prefect, aspiring head boy, Jadafa Saduko of 6A. Hey. 
Remember, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary <coughs> by Vince Lombardi. With that being said, somebody once told me not to bite off more than I could chew. I said, I'd rather choke on greatness than nibble on mediocrity. That is my promise to you, my friends. I'll go above and beyond to get the job done. Yes. Have you met me? <laughs> friends, I know that when you decide to choose me for your headboard, you can depend on me as the comfort in which students bring their issues, the ease I create in a lot of cases for class teachers, being able to handle difficult situations, my leadership qualities, abiding by the rules, courage, creating the change that the school needs, being a voice for the voiceless, discipline, team building attribute, and finally, being head boy is not a flawed designation, it is to be able to diligently perform all tasks ahead. I genuinely want to do my part to rethink, ensure the reach of Ascot Primary School and the standard that has been already set by Mr. Jackson, every teacher, every staff member, every auxiliary member here to make it beyond Portmore, to make it the most coveted school of primary level, primary level education. My main goals are mentorship programs for grade four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Homework club online to ensure every child pushes to do their best. Culture. School magazine, gardening project, and reduce targeted through punctuality raffle every month. These responsibilities of our schools belong to us, so we shall stand as a unit. This is our team, our tool set. When all tools come together, something incredible happens. Goals are reached, life is developed, uh -huh. and best results are achieved. Let's stand, listen closely. My commitment is strong like the rock of Gibraltar. I am self-motivated. Yeah. If you desire change, vote for me. Jadofo Saluko. Let's say it. Jadofo Saluko. I thank you. <laughs> Chairman, Mr. Earl Smith, Principal, Mr. Mark Jackson, Senior Vice Principal, Ms. Gail Palmer, Second Acting Vice Principal, Ms. Zinkler Plummer, Teachers and Colleagues, Chief Judge, Ms. Mr. David Reed, Teachers and Colleagues, a pleasant good day to you all. My name is Mikhail Coleman and I will be running for the significant role of head boy. When I feel troubled, scared, or unable to do something, I repeat these words. Pray, believe, and put in the work. That is my philosophy. The school theme for the 2022 to 2023 academic year even says, we believe that the greatest discovery of all times is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. A positive attitude can bring about positive outcomes that would have otherwise been negative. A positive attitude can change a life, can change a person's life that to one of success and remarkable achievements where he would have failed. I have maintained a positive attitude consistently displaying respect, drive, and teachability. An example of this is that three years ago, when I was eight years old, I became fascinated with the piano keyboard. I wanted to learn how to play, but I did not have a keyboard nor a tutor. So, in result, I paid special attention in music class and did my own research to learn. Today, I can play the instrument I can play the instrument and play my ear sometimes, which is a skill that takes which is a skill that takes a very long time to develop. The positive attitude of persistence and of persistence and drive resulted in a positive outcome. Our school's philosophy of leadership is based on the DRRFL: discipline, responsibility, respect, focus and leadership. The program also emphasizes and demands a high level of communication. These tenets 
basis of training I have received for the past 12 months. The ideal candidate for head boy is one who, has, who is disciplined, demonstrates responsibility, has respect and is respected, is focused, and an outstanding leader and exceptional communicator. I am the ideal candidate for head boy because I have consistently demonstrated these traits. The impact I plan on having on my fellow schoolmates will be a positive one. I will be the kind of leader that is approachable and dependable. My fellow schoolmates will be able to engage me in meaningful conversations, and I intend to leave a mark of discipline with whoever I encounter. I will create a feedback loop between the students and the school administration, utilizing the opinions of prefects and other students with school population. I will strategically place feedback boxes at various locations around the school where students can leave their comments. Students will be encouraged to share suggestions and issues they face. Every student who rushes an issue or complaint must also propose a solution. This will encourage students to, to develop their problem-solving skills. I will then schedule meetings with the school leadership to discuss challenges faced by the students and propose solutions. This system will promote inclusiveness in, in the development of the Asta Primary School Band and could continue long after I have transitioned to further studies. I have elaborated on who I am and my competencies. My name is Miguel Coleman of Class 6A and your head boy of 2022 to 2023. I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chairman, Mr. Earl Smith, Chief Judge, Mr. Reed, Principal, Mr. Mark Jackson, Vice Principal, Mrs. Sinclair Palmer, Second Acting Vice Principal, Mrs. Gail Palmer, our Guidance Counselor, Mrs. Lady Edwards, Teachers, my opponents, and schoolmates, good afternoon. My name is Romaria Barnett from Class 6A. It's with great pride and humility that I stand here today to present this speech. Philosopher Robert Collier once said, success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. And this means it is not enough to do those things once, but to do these things every day until they add up to something great is where the real magic is. For those of you who may not know me, I am a leader that leads by example. I'm a team player, excellent interpersonal skills, and I possess the ability to confidently interact with students, teachers, and even parents. Secondly, I strongly believe I should be the next head boy of the Oscott Primary School. Allow me to share a few qualities that would make me the best candidate and an asset to this institution. I have an excellent sense of leadership. I'm a people person that gets along well with my peers. I believe that in order to be a well-rounded individual, I should not only focus on academics, but to also contribute positively to the growth of this institution. In addition, I am willing and capable of representing Brand Oscott Primary whenever called upon and to also serve as a role model. Lastly, if given the opportunity to serve as head boy for the rest of my tenure, most importantly, I will ensure that I always adhere to the school rules and regulations and always strive to encourage and motivate my peers while maintaining high academic on a daily basis. Now, I'm going to ask one of our judges to tell me what the DRRFL means. Principal, Mr. Mike Jackson, could you please stand? <laughs> All right, could, now, could you now explain what the DRRFL means?
students. I will ensure that I exercise excellent time management so that I'm accessible to my peers to provide guidance and coaching whenever necessary. To also make learning more fun, I intend to share helpful tips and best practices with our teachers, which will aid in a significant increase in our academic performance and discipline to make Oscott Primary the school of choice. In conclusion, in conclusion, it's a great honor that I serve this noble institution, the Oscott Primary. Now, remember our school motto, strive for excellence, and vote Romaria Barnett, your next head boy, I thank you. Guys, you hear the future leader of our country? With a prime minister, doctor, nurses, lawyers, are you listening to them? I'm so proud of them. I am so proud of them. Guys, in part two, I'm going to give you the deputy head boy and deputy head girl who are fighting to get that position and the results of who win the head boy, head girl, deputy head boy and deputy head girl. If you make it this far, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe again. Bye guys. See you in another one.